biggest combined military exercises is ramping up in central Queensland. Exercise Talisman Sabre starts next week and we'll see more than 20,000 troops from Australia and the United States taking part in operations at Shoalwater Bay. A procession of military vehicles rumble into Rockhampton Barracks. There's less than a week to go before the largest joint Australian and US military exercise. From the very high-end warfighting all the way through to peace enforcement, humanitarian uh, relief and interagency activities. From Monday, Base Rocky will become the staging point of Talisman Sabre, a mass training exercise to test soldiers in air, land and sea operations. This is what our troops face in a complex battlefield overseas or even in a humanitarian situation where there are a lot of different agencies and NGOs involved. The exercise will use up to 120 aircraft, 30 naval vessels and hundreds of armoured vehicles, like this ASLAV-25, used for scouting and surveillance in East Timor, Iraq and Afghanistan. This is a very unique piece of kit, actually. There is nothing else like it in our Defence Force. It is in a league of its own. It is a valuable commodity that we can't really afford to lose. 22,000 troops from Australia and the US will take part in Exercise Talisman Sabre in areas throughout central Queensland, the Gulf and Darwin. 7,000 will be based here in Rockhampton and Shoalwater Bay. It's much more than being used as a training ground. There's many business opportunities and the economic impact in here is quite significant. Over two weeks, the exercise will inject nearly $6 million into the region. On Saturday, locals have a chance to get up close to a range of Australian and US military hardware at the Talisman Sabre Open Day. It's an opportunity for people to see what's going on and to get a better understanding of what's going on in their community. Gates open at the Rockhampton Showgrounds at 1pm. Anna McManamy, 7 News.